Taylor, thank you. Another major road in Broad Ripple is now shut down for the next few months. Now, we first told you about the Westfield Bridge project back in December. And that was right after a lot of Broad Ripple neighbors found out about it. And as Fox 59's Eric Graves explains, they're not happy. As you can tell, this bridge on Westfield Boulevard certainly needs some work. For the next 100 days, this section of Westfield Boulevard here in Broderick will be shut down, and that's just the beginning of this latest disruptive project happening in the village. It is exhausting, and it's a little bit frustrating. Construction closures are once again the talk of Broad Ripple. I'm literally hearing about this for the first time. Monday marked the beginning of a roughly 100-day closure of the bridge along Westfield Boulevard in Broad Ripple. Construction crews will replace the bridge with a new 60-foot bridge. It'll cost more than $7 million, and the entire project will last until at least July. The project also involves draining a section of the canal. I think they call the bridge a mess, and yes, it needs to be replaced, but that doesn't mean we like the inconvenience. Business owners in the area have not been shy about sharing their frustrations about ongoing construction. It definitely puts a burden on everybody who's working down here. John Minky runs Untitled Inc. in Broad Ripple. The bridge project is just a few months after construction on Broad Ripple Ave finished after a more than a year-long project. Businesses say it's impacting their bottom line. We've probably lost probably at least 30 percent of our walk-ins just because people, you know, they come down here, they get confused. On top of concerns over the construction keeping visitors out of Broad Ripple, folks are also worried about drivers flooding smaller side streets and using them as detours. Specifically, 64th and 65th, where the Monon and thousands of people cross every week. Monon walkers say they'll have to be vigilant with extra traffic on these smaller roads. We can't do anything about it. It is what it is. As long as nobody drives on it. Right? That's exactly right. <laughs> but a few minutes later, we saw just that. This truck took a left off 64th and drove down the Monon toward pedestrians before eventually reversing and going back out onto the actual road. Neighbors hope this dangerous mistake doesn't increase during construction. With more traffic here along 64th and 65th streets where the Monon crosses, neighbors are asking people to take it slow and keep these pedestrians here along the Monon safe. Reporting here in Broderick, Blair Graves, Fox 59 News.